สวัสดีค่ะ I'm Alex. I am a Rotary Youth Exchange student, and I'm currently in Thailand. Now, I'm making a blog, video blog, to document my time in Thailand. So, um, for one, I can remember it. Um, a year's a long time, so don't want to forget anything. And second, because I don't know if somebody out there is maybe thinking about being an exchange student. Or is going to be an exchange student and really wondering about it, or just wants to learn about Thailand, then maybe it would be some helpful information. Now, um, this is the first video I've ever made, so please forgive my editing on it. Um, I'm making this after one week in Thailand. Um, hopefully, by the time I edit it, it'll be about two or three weeks into it. Um, I want to talk about a couple of different things. The first thing I want to talk about today. Is schools in Thailand. Now, the main thing that everybody notices first is the uniforms. They have these uniforms that are just past your knees or calf length, depending on how tall you are. Um, a dark blue and like a white button-down shirt, and you have to have your hair like really short. Or um, I go to a Catholic school mostly, except there's some Buddhist monks there. I don't really get it. But um, they allow me to not cut my hair, so I have it like in braids the whole time. <laughs> so the school uniforms uh, stand out. Oh, and we have these uh, Mary Jane shoes that I can't show you because shoes are not allowed in Thai houses. They're downstairs outside, so you don't get to see the shoes. But they're basically Mary Jane shoes um, and socks. You have these socks with like. Um, grips on the bottom of them. So when you take off your shoes to go in a classroom, you're just wearing your socks. And you kind of just walk around like a good portion of the day without your shoes on. Um, unless you're going to a different building, then you put your shoes on and then you go take off your shoes again and just walk around in socks. Um, second uh, thing I want to talk about schools is that Thai students really think it's kind of cool that I am not Asian. Literally, I am the only non-Asian in my school of 4,000. It's a really big school, so I get a lot of attention. People just, uh, I have blue eyes, so people just oh, always come up, oh, your eyes are so pretty. And they're also really shy at the same time, so they think it's really cool but I'm shy, so if you're ever an exchange student to an Asian country, be ready. They will try to take pictures of you, they'll take pictures with you, they'll talk about how beautiful you are, they'll smile and wave and kind of like giggle through themselves. Like, ah. Yeah, um, it's kind of a cool feeling because you're super popular and everybody knows who you are, but they're still pretty shy, so it takes some getting used to. Uh, the also, uh, school days are very long here. I go to school, I get to school about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, school actually starts at 8 and you kind of like line up and I guess they do like morning announcements. Um, my tie is not that good yet. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on everything they say, but basically that. Uh, you pray and play the national anthem um, for Thailand and then you go to class. And so until about 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock on Fridays, 5 o'clock most days, and 6 o'clock on Wednesdays, you have school. Um, so it's really, really long. I mean, you get about 45 minutes for lunch, which is nice, but it's still a really, really long day compared to anything we have in America. Um, so there you go high schools. Oh, and for some reason on Thursdays, they have this thing called Scouts, where all the girls dress up in what look like old-fashioned Girl Scout uniforms, and all the guys go to military training. Um, that's just what they do. The second thing I wanted to talk about today is Thailand is hot. Like, really, really hot. All the time. Um, it just is. So if you're going to Thailand, get ready for it. It's currently the middle of the rainy season, 
but I haven't seen much rain. But it's cooler than it normally is, which is good. But still, if you're standing outside for an extended period of time, say, doing announcements and listening to the national anthem, you really, really start to sweat. To make up for it, Thai people shower a lot. Literally three or four, or sometimes five times a day because it's so hot and you sweat so much. Um, and people in Thailand love to complain about how hot it is. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about today is food in Thailand. Now, if you ever travel to Thailand, beware. They eat a lot more parts of animals than we do in America. So just get ready for that. They also have the biggest shrimp I've ever seen in my life. Literally, they were like that big. So I thought it was a small lobster until they were like, no, a shrimp. But Thailand has way more fruits than in America too. They have the usual ones, uh, bananas, apples, pineapples, oranges, basic stuff. But then they also have other fruits like these, a fruit. And this, this is a fruit. What you do is you basically crack it open and you eat it. It's actually really good. It's pretty sweet. Um, they also have, Thailand is famous for the durian or duran, not 100% sure how to try, pronounce it because I've not tried it yet, but Thai people love them, but foreigners think they smell really, really bad. <sighs> I'm sorry, even Thai people say they smell bad. They really do. They smell really bad. They're like this big and they just smell bad. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know how they taste. Um, also, they eat rice with everything. Um, it's just kind of like you put some rice on your plate and then you put other stuff on your plate, or it's more of a bowl, and you have a spoon in one hand, a fork in another, and you kind of scoop the food and some rice onto your spoon with the fork. Your fork never touches your mouth, and then you use the spoon to go to your mouth. And rice is just served with everything. Also, there's a lot of spicy things. I saw a eight-year-old, like, little girl, she was, like, that tall, and she was just eating this, uh, it was like noodles. So she, had, she offered me some, and I tried it, and my mouth was on fire. I could not understand how she was eating it. It's something I'm going to have to get used to, but for foreigners who just got here, the food is really spicy. And if you don't like spicy food, always order stuff, pet nit noi, a little bit spicy. Um, so that's about it. Next time I will talk to you more about other things in Thailand, but I don't want this video to last too long. So I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed learning stuff about Thailand and hopefully I'll remember to post more of these. Bye.